Ever wondered how hackers bypass firewalls and intrusion detection systems or IDS? It's a fascinating question that sends us deep into the realm of cybersecurity. Let's start by defining our terms. A firewall in the simplest sense is a barrier designed to prevent unauthorized access to a network. It's like a bouncer at the door of a club deciding who gets in and who doesn't. On the other hand, an intrusion detection system, or IDS, is like a security camera inside the club. It monitors network traffic and alerts administrators when it detects suspicious activity. These two systems work together to create a robust defense against cyber threats. But as we all know, even the best defense isn't impenetrable, so how do hackers manage to slip past these formidable security measures? To understand how hackers bypass these systems, we must first understand how they operate. Firewalls serve as the first line of defense in network security, but what exactly do they do? Firewalls are like our digital guardians. They keep a vigilant watch over the flow of data between your computer and the network, deciding what gets in and what gets out based on a set of predetermined security rules. Think of them as bouncers at a trendy nightclub granting or denying access based on a strict guest list. But not all firewalls are created equal. There are different types, each with its own unique methods of controlling traffic. Packet filtering firewalls, for instance, examine packets of data, scrutinizing their source and destination before deciding whether to let them pass. Then we have stateful inspection firewalls, which go a step further to analyze the contents of these packets. There are also application-level gateways and circuit-level gateways, each with their own pros and cons. Now you might be thinking, well, with such vigilant gatekeepers, how can anyone possibly get past? That's a great question. Firewalls can indeed be bypassed. This can happen when firewall configurations are not properly set up, or when attackers use sophisticated techniques to trick the firewall into thinking malicious data is benign. Remember, firewalls are tools, not magic shields. They are only as good as the rules they're given and the vigilance with which they're monitored and updated. While firewalls can be formidable, they aren't invincible. Next to firewalls, intrusion detection systems or IDS are the guardians of our networks, but how do they function? Imagine a night watchman constantly vigilant scanning the surroundings for any suspicious activity. That's essentially what an IDS does within a network. It monitors traffic and looks for patterns that could indicate a potential threat. There are two main types of IDS, network-based and host-based. Network-based IDS are placed at strategic points within a network to monitor traffic to and from all devices. On the other hand, host-based IDS are installed on individual devices to monitor inbound and outbound traffic from that particular device. So, how do they detect threats? IDS use two primary detection methods, signature-based and anomaly-based detection. Signature-based detection is like a most wanted list. It matches network traffic against a database of known threats. If there's a match, the alarm bells ring. Anomaly-based detection, however, is more like a health checkup. It establishes a baseline of normal network behavior and alerts when there's a deviation. But like every system, IDS have their vulnerabilities. They can be overwhelmed by a flood of false alarms or a clever attacker might evade detection by splitting up harmful data into smaller, less suspicious-looking packets. In the end, it's a constant cat-and-mouse game. As attackers devise new methods to bypass security, IDS must evolve to keep up. IDS are essential for detecting threats, but they too have their weaknesses. Now that we understand how firewalls and intrusion detection systems function, how do hackers manage to evade these security measures? Well, hackers are often quite creative. They exploit vulnerabilities in the system and use a variety of techniques to sneak past firewalls and IDS. Let's dive into these methods. First, we have IP spoofing. This is like a covert operation where the hacker disguises their identity by using a fake IP address. It's like wearing a mask at a masquerade ball. The security system sees this masked IP address and assumes it's a trusted friend, allowing it access. Next, we have fragmentation. This technique involves breaking up malicious data into smaller packets that can slip through the firewall unnoticed. Imagine you're trying to sneak a large cake into a party. Instead of bringing the whole cake in at once, you break it into pieces and bring them in one at a time. That's fragmentation for you. Then there's encryption. Encryption is like a secret language only understood by the sender and the receiver. When a hacker sends encrypted data, the security system can't understand what's being said, hence 
can't identify it as a threat. It's like whispering a secret in a crowded room. Now these techniques might seem ingenious on their own, but what happens when they're combined? That's where advanced evasion techniques come into play. These are complex methods that utilize a combination of IP spoofing, fragmentation, and encryption to bypass security systems. Think of it as a master thief using a disguise, stealth, and coded messages all at once to pull off a grand heist. But remember, evasion isn't just about getting past security measures, it's also about staying undetected. That's why these techniques are designed to not only bypass the firewall and IDS, but also to leave as little trace as possible. As we can see, evasion is a complex process that requires a deep understanding of network security systems and their vulnerabilities. So, the next time you think about network security, remember that it's not just about setting up walls, it's also about understanding what can slip through the cracks. So, what have we learned about IDS and firewall evasion? We've delved into the intriguing world of intrusions, understanding how hackers exploit vulnerabilities and security measures, We've discovered the fundamentals of firewalls, those digital walls that stand guard over our networks, scrutinizing incoming and outgoing traffic to block potential threats. But no wall is impregnable. We've also unveiled the secrets of intrusion detection systems, or IDS, those silent sentinels that constantly monitor network traffic, hunting for suspicious activity. Yet these two have their Achilles heel. Most importantly, we've explored how these security measures can be evaded, Techniques like IP fragmentation, encryption, and the use of stealthy protocols can help intruders slip past these defenses unnoticed. In the end, it all boils down to a cat and mouse game. The better we understand these evasion techniques, the more equipped we are to fortify our networks. Understanding these evasion techniques is the first step towards fortifying our networks and staying one step ahead of potential threats.